I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Dr. Mick Kirsten. He is Chief Technology Officer at PlanView. Mick, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. It's great to be here, Judy. Thank you. Now, before we get started, just a quick note to our viewers, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Mick, tell us about PlanView and your company's mission to support digital connected work. Absolutely. So I think as we see on the floor here and all over the world, technology is changing everything. A lot of traditional businesses need to transform and those transformations are all about the people. So connecting people to their customers, connecting strategy to delivery, and now connecting actually the, the power of generative AI uh, to basically how we invest, how we track, how we manage digital products and experiences is critical. And what's happened over the course of the last couple of decades is all of these new ways of working have come in. All of these team tools have made it easier for us to, to work day to day to collaborate, but most of that is just completely disconnected from company strategy. So we've got these strategic drifts where, you know, the boardrooms and CEOs and executive teams have all these amazing ideas how to help their companies move fast, but all of that's disconnected from the day-to-day -day work people are doing, from the software they're creating, from the code that they're writing. And so we've created this whole new platform that allows teams to continue to use the tools that make them productive, make them happy, and have them do their best work, while having all of that connected in a closed loop, and then of course now being able to generate all of the AI-based insights into how we can optimize the way that we deliver value to our customers. So what would you say is the biggest problem you're solving for your customers? Yeah, it's, it's fascinating. I've, I've done a lot of my former research in productivity, in developer productivity, in digital productivity. And what we see is that the vast, and this might be a bit surprising, but if you look at a large enterprise, around 75% of the investment they put in technology is just wasted. And it's wasted on various bottlenecks, on overloaded teams, on work being canceled. And we've actually been able to measure that. We've come up with a way of measuring just the same way that you might measure cars moving down an assembly line to measure knowledge work, to measure, measure productivity. That's actually been this, this thing we've created called the, the flow framework. It's how to measure the flow of knowledge work across teams. And the problem is that when you've got things disconnected, when you've got constant frustration from teams waiting on approvals, waiting on some cloud service that they need that, that they never got, uh, you have a lot of waste in the system. Yet we have all these companies, some startups and unicorns and tech giants have actually figured this out. They're able to deliver value in, in a matter of days, create new products, new features, adapt to all the power that we have right now with GPT. So our whole goal is to actually take that waste out of the system, connect for traditional enterprises and companies who want to thrive in this, this age of AI and software, uh, all of their value streams, how they deliver value to their customers, and then help them optimize that to deliver at the pace of a, of a startup, even though they might have tens or hundreds of thousands of staff. And how would you say you're different from your competitors? So well, the way we've really watched the tool landscape evolve has been through a lot of developer technologies, technologies created by coders for themselves. So there are a lot of team tools uh, across, across the entire market, right? Those have become very successful companies like the Atlassians, the ServiceNows, technologies like GitHub now, that, that's part of Microsoft. And those make teams productive. Rather than telling organizations, you, you know, you have to move everything to our platform, swap out all your team tools, uh, move everything into sales service, move everything into ServiceNow, we actually have a platform that's agnostic, that allows teams to work the way that makes them productive, companies to leverage those platforms, whether they're cloud platforms or workflow platforms or other kinds of tools, but get that end-to-end -end visibility and then see that end-to-end -end flow of value and then of course optimize that to, to transform faster. And finally, so. tell me, what would you say are your key growth drivers? So we've had, this, it's been fascinating because uh, connecting up the world of what is now value stream management, right? Which is applying these, these lean manufacturing practices that uh, have been honed for decades in manufacturing of, of cars and the devices that, uh, that we like to use. Uh, we've been able to take that world of value stream management and connect it up to what PlanView is the leader in, which is uh, strategic portfolio management and enterprise agile, which has been a, a really key trend over the last decade. So PlanView actually acquired the company I founded TaskUp a year ago, and we were able to bring these two worlds together and give that companies the best of both worlds by making sure that uh, everyone's got the tools they need to be productive with this end-to-end -end platform, and that's driven tremendous growth for us over the course of the last, last year and over the course of this year as well. So last year, uh, our ARR was 380 million. That was a 17% growth over the year prior. Uh, we've got 4,500 customers who are now very excited to see what's, what's coming down the pipe in terms of how we actually leverage all this data that we have to present them with complete conversational ways of interacting. So a CXO, a CTO, Chief Technologies Officer, Chief Product Officer can ask, what, what is my bottleneck? How do I move to market faster? Where is my transformation being 
being hung up. Where do I need to invest? Uh, where do I actually need to reallocate resources through what we're now building with, in, with our co-pilots uh, and GPT? So it's, uh, it's you know, obviously the customers that would make this so, so fun and so rewarding mm -hmm. and seeing growth there and, and the, the, their success, really helping them become digital innovators is what's been uh, an amazing part of the ride. So. Okay. All right. Well, Mick, thanks for coming down. Great to have you on Floor Talk. Thank you so much, Judy. It's been great to be here.